Hi, my name is Caroline Wong. I'm the U.S. Medical Affairs Hematology Team Lead at Pfizer Oncology. Today, I'm here to provide a brief overview of the latest clinical data for elornatumab, our BCMA-directed bispecific antibody. Elornatumab was approved by the FDA this past summer for the treatment of relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma after four prior lines of therapy. It brings me and my colleagues great joy to be part of this new era of T-cell redirecting therapies that have been transformative for patients living with multiple myeloma. Overall, we have six presentations at ASH 2023 that contribute to the growing body of evidence establishing elronatumab as an important therapeutic option for heavily pretreated relapsed refractory disease. In the next few minutes, I'd like to highlight two of those presentations. The first is the extended efficacy and safety update from our pivotal phase two magnetism three study which evaluates elronatumab monotherapy in patients with triploplast-exposed multiple myeloma. This update looks at the patients without prior BCMA exposure. We previously reported an objective response rate of 61% for this BCMA-naive cohort from magnetism 3, with the vast majority of those responses being a very good partial response or better. What we observe at longer follow-up is that the likelihood of maintaining response at 18 months is 68.8% after a median follow-up of 17.6 months. It's also noteworthy to share that the safety profile remains consistent with no new safety signals at longer follow-up. The other presentation I'd like to highlight speaks to a core value at Pfizer, equity. We strive to serve all patients when developing our medicines for the world and have made it a priority to help address healthcare disparities. This is especially relevant in multiple myeloma, which is the most common blood cancer in black Americans. Historically, black Americans have been underrepresented in multiple myeloma clinical trials. Pfizer has been actively working to address this issue by requiring our clinical development programs to recruit participants who are more representative of the patient populations living with the conditions under study. And this includes our magnetism clinical development program for elronatumab. This leads to the second presentation I'd like to highlight which is a pooled post hoc analysis of black patients with relapsed to refractory multiple myeloma from three separate magnetism studies. All three studies were phase one or two single arm trials evaluating elronatumab and triple class exposed disease with or without prior BCMA exposure. Results show an investigator assessed objective response rate of 58% for black patients, which is consistent with the objective response rate of 55% among their pooled non-black counterparts. The likelihood of black patients maintaining response at 12 months was nearly 80% after a median follow-up of 13.3 months. Equally important, the safety profile of elronatumab in black patients is also consistent with their non-black counterparts. Patients and their care partners can read more about all our ASH 2023 presentations through Pfizer's Abstract Plain Language Summaries, or APLS. These summaries help to make emerging research findings accessible and understandable to anyone seeking this information. APLS for all ASH presentations can be found online at pfizer.com backslash APLS for up to two weeks following the conference and will also be accessible via the QR code available at Pfizer Booths. Thank you and enjoy the rest of ASH 2023.